Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and today we are gonna be making a really cute rooster junk journal. So I wanna bring you guys along with me on this journey, and this will definitely be a series. Today, uh, I'm gonna start with, so you'll need a paper bag. I wanna use the handles off the paper bag and the bottom part of the paper bag. So we'll do a paper bag and a just Amazon packaging here. Just one of the mailers. So I'm gonna have one of those that goes for the body of the journal. Some paints, we'll do some acrylic painting and just some fun little additive things. Like I just got some burlap and some fabric and some lace and some corrugated uh, cardboard to decorate with, some feathers. I got a cute little rooster cut out here for the cover. So yeah, so get all your stuff together. And if you could, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys will see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, share, and let's grow together. Okay, so let me get prepped here and we will get started. All right, so I got all ready here, and now we're gonna just cut off the end part of the bag. So I'm just gonna take it, and I'm gonna cut right here. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and getting out your paper bags and your mailers and seeing what we can create today. That's the fun part, right? See, what well, I never know exactly how it's gonna turn out until it turns out. So I kinda just craft along with you guys. So this is the bottom of the bag. Okay, and I will show you what we're gonna do with that later. So get the bottom cut out. We're gonna pop the handle. This handle already got came off. So I got this handle. And let's go ahead and take the other handle off. I'm just gonna rip it off here. We're not using this part of the bag. So let's put that to the side. We got our handles here. Okay. And then we got our bag. So what we're gonna start off, I'm gonna go ahead and paint everything. Okay. So I'm just gonna get this, uh, I'm gonna use some a gesso for the base, just some liquid basic acrylic gesso and just get my paintbrush here. I think I'm gonna use a sponge brush for this. I'll just use my sponge, see how that works. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this painted. Okay, so before I paint it, I forgot here, I am going to go to the sewing machine and this part I'm going to sew this part shut, and then I'm going to sew these two parts together, just down this way and down this way. But first I'll sew this shut, then I'll sew just the sides right here together. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so I went ahead and went over and sewed it, and I just did some zigzag, and I didn't catch it quite on the edge, so I went ahead and did it again right here, but that's okay. Uh, so we sewed the top, just this part here to keep this open. Didn't no sewing here. And then sewed the sides up like that. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just run it and zigzag here too, just to make it for decorative reasons. Just do a little zigzag on the side there. Okay, so now, I got it like that, just for decorative over here. And we got our little opening here. So that's how it should look. And then we got our handles. So I'm gonna go ahead and primer everything. Well, with the gesso, I'm gonna use the gesso. All right, so I got this, there's a little bit of gesso on there and I'm just doing the one side. So whichever side you want to be the front. So 
This is just the folded part, so I don't want nothing to do with that. And I just did the front here and did some gesso on it. Now, oh, and then I did the handles. And I, and, and I didn't go all the way to the edges because I want the thread to show. And um, I switched to this kind of brush too because the Splendid brush just was absorbing it too much. So I wasn't getting a good spread. So um, I'm leaving the thread showing here and I like I liked the paper bag showing. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And same with this, I just kind of just did a light, just some gesso on there. And the handles doesn't matter at the end because we're gonna wind up hiding those. Okay, I did that. And then now we'll take our mailer here and I'm gonna leave this side open with a, a pocket in the front that's already open, but I'm gonna cut it even here. And I want the inside to have this on the inside of it. Just because that's what I decided. And then this will be the outside. So I'm just kind of going like this. I'm not really creasing it down because I like the, the fold like that, the rounded. So I don't want to crease it. But I'm just going like this with it. Looking at it. And then, oops, whoa, I almost, I almost dropped this on the ground. So I'm having that dry over there, all those dry. And then any extra like gesso or anything on my paintbrush, I just kind of put over on the scrap paper because you never know. You can use this for uh, any kind of like collages and stuff. So anything extra on my paintbrush, I just kind of swipe on here just to keep it. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is same thing and I'm gonna do both sides. I'm gonna gesso this side and this side because I wanna cover all this stuff up. All right, so as you can see, I just did in the middle here and left the outsides, but you could do as much as you want. So I'm just doing it just like that. I'm gonna put it to the side here, let it dry. Any extra, just any extra paint. It's like, don't waste it. Okay, there we go. And then what I'm gonna do is work on this one while that one's drying. Okay. So I am going to use Blue Nova, and it's just uh, acrylic, uh, Holbin. H-O-L-B-E-I-N. Oh my, are my glasses on, but geez, that's tiny, tiny writing. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. I've had it forever, so I don't even know where I got it. And I don't even know how it's gonna look. So let's see. I don't even know if it'll open. Oh, let's check. yeah, let's see. I've had it just forever. And it's kind of a cool color. I just, I like it. Hopefully there's enough here for all this. Um, I could mix it because I don't know if I will have enough for the whole thing. So I could, with a pinwheel, maybe let's do a little mix. Just do spots everywhere. Yeah, because I don't know how much I have in here. And I would hate to run out and then not have enough. So let's do that. And then this is just the Apple Barrel, like from Walmart, uh, pinwheel blue. So I'm just going to go ahead and just paint this. I have the front and the back just drying and I have this one drying and the handles. So I'm going to go lay them over to the side and then we will work on the cover. Okay. So I got all my goodies that I want to try to incorporate in the cover here, but we'll see what we use. Okay. So I'm just going to move stuff to the side. I did a video uh, the other day on this um, 
comparing the texture paste and stuff if you guys want to go check it out I did it on different uh, fabrics uh, and paper and I'll put the link down below and you guys come check it out that's pretty cool okay so let's move this and this is just some coffee dyed paper or tea dyed paper and I can put the link down below to show you how I did that. Um, along with this, I tea dyed the fabric here. Okay. So I want to start with the paper bag. Alright, and then I'm just going to start ripping it. down here and I'm using vintage photo use vintage photo on this and this is just a collage I did um, on a manila folder and then I zero I copied it I just uh, copied it off so that's what that is we're gonna do not the rooster yet I'm gonna go ahead and do the paper and then a little bit of this let's see how I want it kind of poking out in spots. So, so far, this is what I got. I think it looks kind of cute. So let's see. The only thing I'd want to do is ink this real quick. Let's make it look like a piece of bark or something. Um, I kind of like that at the end here. So I'm going to try to glue all this down and then I want to put a tag on it, but we'll wait. Let's try to get this all glued and I'm going to use my art glitter glue and 
I'm going to just tack this down and maybe do, I'm gonna do some sewing, I think too, but that's optional. All the sewing is optional. You guys should just glue wherever I sewed on stuff. It's the same. It works just the same. Okay, I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and just do some fun interest sewing on it. Um, I think I might throw this on top just cause this will be easier than gluing it. I'm just gonna have to do it. I'm just gonna have to do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna set it up like it was, more or less. And go over and just kind of sew all that together. But if not, you don't have to. You could just take your glue and just start gluing it and tacking it down. Okay, so I got this far. That's the back of it. So you could just see, I just did a little zigzag and then some uh, just wavy stitches and the zigzag and then wavy. Just give a little interest and I'll keep the threads long here. Then it's the tea dyed paper feathers. Just making sure the order of it here. So I'm just going to stick it in there. Okay. Now you can take them and start taking your glue and just glue them down. And then what I would suggest is Let's see, you're just going to want to do it right here on the, the base here of the feather. So you're just going to go glue a little glue there. You don't really want to get it on the actual feather part because it'll just gum it all up. Just make sure you're getting it where you want it. Okay. I'm just going to continue gluing the feathers all, all underneath. Okay. And I got those glued where I want them. So these are going to be the ones behind the paper. And then um, these will be the ones down by the, the corrugated paper down here. So well, I'm thinking before I either glue it, you can glue it down or uh, go ahead and we'll sew it. I think I'm going to go to the sewing machine and go ahead and sew it and do some interest sewing. Okay. So I just went ahead and just did a straight stitch and just kind of followed the rip around the little tears. Okay. And let's see. I don't know if I said, but this is just fabric that I fussy cut out and I have like panels of, uh, roosters, different roosters, and I went ahead and just cut it around. I don't know if I said that or not. This is just so cute. Oh, so much fun. Okay. Yeah, I had all these feathers, because uh, I was making dream catchers a little bit ago, and um, I just kind of stopped making those and got really into junk journaling and stuff, and I'm like, what am I going to do with these feathers? And then I thought the rooster journal that um, I asked you guys on my last video and uh, I had responses that people wanted to see a rooster journal. And uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to incorporate some feathers in there because it's just kind of fun. It's just a little, a little quirky and fun. Let me go look. I know I have a little bit smaller ones. I'm going to go see. Okay. So I was just getting a bulb pen too. And it has a little glass bead. And I was thinking it just, there's a little loop right here from the fabric. This I got from Goodwill and it was a, uh, like a blouse. And it had, this is the button clasp part that goes around the button. And uh, I thought that I tea dyed it and I just thought it was great. So Goodwill is amazing to go find stuff. So this is a cute little just glass bead. I'm gonna hang off right here. And I wanna incorporate these buttons somewhere. So I'll put that to the side. 
to move some stuff out of the way. Okay. And the reason, yep, feathers. That's why. That's where I went. Let's see. See, I just have tons of just cute little, oh, look at this one. It's so tiny. Let's see. I just wanted a smaller, because they seemed a little big. I don't want it overwhelming. There we go. Those might be better. Oh wow, now I got feathers everywhere. And then you sniff the little feathers up your nose. That's not, that's no fun. Don't do that. Okay. And let's see, I don't know if I need, oh, I think I might use that down here. Yeah, these might be a little better. Okay. So, we'll get that glued down, but I'm gonna stick this here. I gotta glue these down first. And I'm gonna glue the rooster. I'm not gonna sew it. Yeah, because I don't want to chance it fraying. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glue it. Okay. Just wanna see how these are gonna look. Oh my goodness. That is just so fun. Is that not super fun? And then this will go here. Do something like that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing the rooster down. Okay, so went ahead and Got everybody glued down. The little buttons here, I just did some uh, embroidery thread through and glued them. And the last thing I want to do here is take my crocodile or any eyelet setter that you guys have. Works great. And I'm going to pop a hole up here. So it's got the 1 8 inch, 3 16 Eyelet setters down here, and I'm just gonna pop a 3 16 up here. Just right there. And for some reason, my eyelets are too big, so I gotta make them a hole a little bigger. Okay. And then I'm just gonna pop it through here. Like that and then the uh, the pokey part goes through the top the flat part is this uh, the flattens the back of it so you just go like that and you squish it and there you go your eyelet is set okay so we don't need this anymore to do is take my tag and I want to hang it from here and I was wanting to I want to take my stamps and if this doesn't work I have an extra tag so we can just hand write it but I want to do rise and shine so well, let's see how this works I just want to make sure you know you know how stamping goes let's see let's see and this is a permanent stamp that I have and it's just ink that I put in it. Okay. So let me go ahead and get the stamps out real quick. All right. So I got all the letters here and I'm doing a lowercase. So I know this ink is really good. Okay. So R. Okay. And I like how it's going all a little wonky. Sure to leave 
enough room. That's what I'm always afraid of, is when I use these, is I run out of room at the end. I'm like, whoa, whoops. And, oh, we can fit it. We're gonna fit it if I can find it. There it is, okay. Rise and shine, yay. You never know how things work. So I think that is super cute. Okay, let me clean up my mess real quick. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda, I'm just gonna cut it right in there. Line it up. I'm just gonna tie a knot up here. Oh, then it'll hang down like that. And then we can either, when we glue it to the cover, have it so it, you know, just hides back here so you don't even see that part. Or we can have it stick up. Probably, I'm gonna probably hide it back behind. But there we go. That is our finished cover. I think I think it's finished. Looks finished to me. So now let's go ahead and this is dry. Okay. And then I want it like this. I want the opening on this side. Yep. So we're going to do this with that. Oh man. Is that cool guys? Love it. I love the blue, how it pops. Oh my goodness. Please, please, please let me know in the comments what you guys think. I mean, I, I just think it turned out awesome. I really love it. I'm loving it. This is so much fun. Just the layering up and all the uh, just different things you have around. Just grab them and layer up. See what you come up with. Okay, so now I'm going to glue it. Easier said than done. Eh? So just see where you want it. I'm just going to go about here with everything. Okay. And I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to make sure to get this back here. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and glue it and flip it and put it down. Okay, so I'm so excited. I got it all glued on. And I would really love to hear in the comments what you guys think. And anything you do different or add to it, I would love to hear. And uh, so I think as a time, we're going to be done with this today. And what I'm going to do off camera is go ahead and this is still a little damp. So I'm going to just paint this blue just, just the same way we did here on the background, on the cover part behind it. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the inside and the outside of the main journal part. So that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, whoops, my, I'm going to put this in a playlist and this is going to be a rooster junk journal series. So I'll have this in a playlist. And, um, so come check that out. And this is the first episode or first part of the series. And if you guys could please hit the like button, that helps me out so much. Uh, make sure to comment down below and subscribe to my channel. If you hit the notification bell, you guys will know when I go ahead and do my next video for this. So hit the notification bell and keep on crafting, guys.